Hello smelly people, how are we doing? I thought I'd start differently today for some reason, I don't know why. Today I'm reviewing Bat by Zoologist Fragrances. Whoa, quite a new brand, only launched in 2014. They're a niche brand and uh, I absolutely love their concept. I wish I'd have thought of it first, actually. Um, they are a Canadian company um, and all of their fragrances, they have five at the moment in total, um, all named after animals all heavily themed and conceptualized as well, which is really, really cool. I have them all, so I've got something in my eye. Uh, I have all of them, I have samples of all of them. Thank you very much to one Neil Atkinson. I've already thanked you many times over, but um, thank you. You've literally showered me with so many samples. I'm a little bit overwhelmed as to what to do first. I'm just like, all over the place going, wow! Anyway. Um, I thought I'd choose Bat first as it's their most recent release, it came out last year, 2015 and also the reason I chose this one first is because this one uh, is a finalist in the Art and Olfaction Award so this could win an award in May, uh, I'm not sure what for, maybe Innovation? It's quite interesting, very interesting fragrance. So, um, let me tell you about what's in it, I mean I've been wearing this for the last three days and this got some reactions when I wore this to work, I've wore it to work for two days and I'm wearing it today, it did get some quite strange reactions, which was really funny to me anyway. I'm just like, I, I love it, I think it's funny. Um, but yeah, the, the, all of the animals that they portray, they've got panda, they have beaver, they have rhinoceros, hummingbird, and one other, panda, beaver, rhinoceros, hummingbird, and bat. Uh, yeah, they all kind of dress like gentlemanly and a little bit dandy, I don't know if you can see that, the camera might go out of focus, but I'll put a picture anyway up at the beginning, which you probably would have seen. But yeah, I really like it. It's really fun. And this one is about the journey, what you would smell if you went on a journey with a fruit bat, basically. So let me just quickly read it to you. It says, Zoologist's bat odor puff arm escorts you on an odyssey through the night. Uh, this unique olfactory experience carries you with a fruit bat to a sumptuous feast in a lush tropical jungle before whisking you down to the recesses, recesses of its cavernous home. Uh, sweet figs and soft fruits ensnare you with addictive notes, then beckon you deep with a primordial, with primordial mineral scents that evoke a rugged enclosure redolent with hints of damp soil and vegetal roots. Allow yourself to hang, draped in pitch black, as alluring musk wask, wafts over you with every unfolding of the thousands of leathery wings that surround you. Now, if that doesn't paint a picture, what does? I really, really appreciate when a company takes a theme and just runs with it. I think it's brilliant. Perfume's all about artistry and fun anyway, and their line seems to be really cool so far from what I've tried. Anyway, notes. The top notes are banana. Not very often seen in fragrances. Soft fruits and damp earth. The heart notes are fig, tropical fruits, mineral notes, myrrh, resins and vegetal roots and then the base notes are furry musks, leather, vetiver, sandalwood and tonka. So, bye Mr. Bat, off you fly. So let me spray it on my hand, I'm already wearing it anyway but I just wanted to get the top note for you again anyway. So, the first thing I'll say is the soil tincture in this is prominent throughout. It's really kind of what everything pivots around. You cannot get away from it and it's an actual, real, soil, earthy tone. Um, thankfully I wasn't as shocked by this as some of you might be when you smell it or if you ever smell it because I'm a fan of Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab if you didn't know already and they kind of play around with the soil, earth note quite a bit. I've smelled it in a quite a few of theirs so <clears throat> it's still unusual every time you smell it but um, yeah I was quite used to it so thankfully I wasn't quite taken aback. So yeah, you've really got that right there. It smells like upturned earth, it smells like mud, it smells like you've been digging in the garden. Uh, somebody said to me, you smell like outside. And then somebody said to me, it smells like I've been digging out my rockery, which I think sounds really rude, but anyway, I'll gloss over that one. Uh, and then somebody else told me that I smelled like plants. So it really is this true to life, earthy kind of smell that hits you straight away. Very unusual. It's kind of verging on a bit too far, but that's that's just my opinion. So 
with it, I can really smell fig. Um, it feels like it's almost like fig leaf, actually, because fig leaf, um, to me, kind of smells a little bit like buttery and coconutty and planty. And I'm getting that from this. I'm getting the earth. I'm getting a kind of figgy, fruity, almost coconutty, something tropical, all mashed in. It's like you've just shoved your face in a garden patch of tropical fruits. It's really, really weird. I like it. It's got a little bit of sharpness. The tropical fruits, I can't pinpoint really, maybe even coconut, I mean maybe it's not the fig doing it, but it smells like coconutty fig and mud. I don't really smell banana in this at all, um, because it's really hard to kind of get away from this earthiness that's coming from it. It's quite, it's quite uh, sharp, it's not like a dulled down, like blurry mud, it's full on like you've just got a handful of mud in your face. So. Really cool, really interesting, and um, I'm not sure how wearable it actually is, and that's what's concerning to me. It's definitely cool, though. I sometimes get from it, it's not just the earthy thing, it's the natural side of it is more than that. I sometimes get, like, a very old, stony kind of smell, cold stone. Uh, when I went to Glass last year on my own, uh, there was all these doorways with really old buildings, and every time the wind blew out of them, it was like a very ancient kind of stone smell. I get that from this as well. I guess that would be where the mineral part comes into it. So it's really like being in nature in the most natural way. Very weird. But yeah, I like the mineral side of it. I like the stony earth kind of feel. Not something I really want to smell like, but it's still pretty cool to, to have it and, you know, smell it close up. It's like I'm in London and I'm transported somewhere else completely. So yeah, as I said, you can't get away from the soil to this soil tincture at all. As it starts to dry, it, that doesn't change one bit and it doesn't get any weaker. It's just mud, mud, mud all the time. The fruits just kind of play around a little bit. It doesn't, it, it smells fruity, but it's not, it's not obviously fruity, I don't think. It's really weird. It's like it's got a cleanness in there from something, um, which really just contradicts everything that it's about, but that's what's cool about it. It's just a lot of different stuff at once. And... The dry down part is, is the part that is pretty cool as well. That's the only time when it's actually dry, which takes about four hours. It's a bit of a beast, this one. Once you do get to the really dry stages, the earth does kind of back off a little bit. And what starts to come out is leather and vetiver. So this is, would be, I guess, the wings part of it, because bat's wings are leathery. Very clever zoologist, I love it. So yeah, it starts to, finally when it's dry, it's not got there yet, but yeah, I've worn it for three days, so you really, I'd really get a strong, masculine, kind of rough vetiver out of this, and leather, so it turns a lot darker. It goes from au naturel, fruity, to something quite dark, which I guess would be the outside to the inside again. Ah! Another point for you, zoologist. Love it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to say about it. It's got a really good longevity. The, the, the dry down and stuff does take, like I said, about four to five hours anyway, and it goes strong. People in my office were making comments all the time about this. They were smelling it quite far away as well. Not really the best office scent, but I was testing it, so... Tough. Um, yeah, really interesting. Um, love it. Going to spray the last little bit on me now because I'm going to move on to another animal. I have them all, so I will rev review all of them for you. But for now, this is Bat by Zoologist. I'm out to 10, click my logo to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye. <laughs>